Welcome back to the show. Now, as the 16th edition of the region's biggest literary festival came to an end yesterday, we're showcasing the top selling authors Louis met down at the event. Check it out. For well over a decade, bibliophiles have had the chance to meet their favorite authors at the Emirates Airline Festival of Literature, and we at DXB today are not to be left behind. So join me as we get to meet some of these literary geniuses at LitFest. We know him, of course, from the highly entertaining Gum series, the award-winning author Andy Stanton here with us right now. Andy, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Hello, Dubai. <laughs> How are you enjoying Dubai so far? I'm loving it. It's the third time I've been here. I love the festival, uh, the hospitality, all the ideas floating around, all the amazing audiences. And you've been having some good conversations with other authors as well, I'm guessing? I have. Uh, I was talking about AI today, not for kids. Uh, not the discussion we were having. I wrote a book last year about ChatGPT and about AI, and that was my first ever adult event. So I've really grown up, thanks. <laughs> Congratulations on growing up then. Now, but let's go to one of our favorite, of course, work of yours, Mr. Gum. Could you tell us a little bit about what inspired these quirky characters of yours? Uh, yeah, I have a quirky brain. <laughs> I'm always thinking of really strange stuff. And many years ago now, I sat down and decided to see if that weird stuff in my brain could come out on the page and Mr. Gum was born. Now, you've won awards and you've captured readers all over the world, especially young readers. What do you think draws these young readers to your books? Is it more of the quirky characters that we just mentioned, or is it the interesting way you paint a picture with your words? Uh, it's a really good question. Uh, I think both. I think you have to have, like in a pop song, you have to have a good hook, something catchy. Maybe that's the characters and the absurd characters I have. But then hopefully what keeps kids coming back is the style of it and that's the humor and the word play and I like to take things that kids haven't seen before and really make their imaginations go crazy with strange ideas and a strange writing style. Today I'm with a celebrated author, a philanthropist, a poet whose works have captured so many people, young and old worldwide. Dr. Nguyen Tan Quy Mai, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Louis, for the honor of the interview today. Oh no, the honor is definitely ours. I know you mentioned something about translation as well. And I know you translated a few uh, works of yours. Do you find that in poetry, some of the artistry in the words are difficult to move from one language to another? Uh, definitely, definitely. You know, I started my my uh, my career as a writer in poetry, and I was really inspired by the heroes of everyday life in Vietnam. So I wrote about them on my motorbike, and, because I love poetry so much. So I wanted to the world to come to Vietnam via our, our poetry. So I translated a lot of Vietnamese poets. I mean. Poetry is so hard to understand, to, to translate because there are so many layers, uh, you know, like, like, you know, and, and I wanted to be true to the spirit of the novel, but also like um, to be true to the spirit of the poem, but also like to sound good in the other language. So I think I learned a lot from being a translator. I'm here right now with writer, academic, and novelist May al -Nakib. Pleasure to have you with us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, I know about one of your sh collection of short stories. It's called The Hidden Light of Objects. It was the first collection of short stories to win the first book award at the Edinburgh International Book Festival. First things first, what was it about? And second, why do you think short stories can be just as powerful and meaningful and fulfilling as, say, a full novel? Um, well, the, st the collection was really about the everyday lives of the people who live here in the Middle East. Rather, well, not only, it was quite international, but instead of focusing on the politics that we usually see in the media, it kind of went more into the humanity of the people that live here. And it's called The Hidden Light of Objects because in all of the stories, there's a particular ob object that triggers a kind of memory or sensation that unfolds something about the story. So that's what tied it all together. I think short, short stories are incredibly powerful because they're short and can pack a punch. 
You know, they're very tight in their form, which is a bit different than the novel. It's something I like about the novel is how expansive and capacious it can be. But on the other hand, um, short stories like poems, they have a powerful impact because they're sort of, the, the time of the narrative is condensed. The Emirates Airline Festival of Literature is but one of the many events in Dubai that cater to people's love for storytelling and books and food and just meeting new people. So stay with us on DXB Today as we feature more of these people, places and events only in Dubai.